Hey ho guys, George with Virtual Staging. So, you know one of those images where you have to, you know, clone and stamp something in order to remove the, for example, this disk. So I have this image here and it has to be staged. So the idea is to remove this old looking disk and still keep the wallpaper pattern behind from the behind, you know. So there's multiple ways, of course. You can use clone and stamp in Photoshop and go like that and just la 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 la. Yes, this is one of the ways. In this case, it might work, it might not. The second way I have in mind is the vanishing point. So you, you create this like that and then this and then you can start really clone and stamp everything la 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 and it might work again of course if you're lucky but there is a third way and actually there, there are many more ways but the third way which is really effective actually and it's very easy and cool and in some cases it might not work but it I, I decided it's worth you know getting it out there I'm going to select this and copy the image in on in my clipboard so I'm gonna click Control a and then copy I've downloaded uh, a small little app called shoebox it is none of these applies to what we're going to do and all you need is to find the bitmap category and texture ripper so you go and click the texture ripper Control V as soon as this is ready you have really not a lot of options and if you just leave your mouse there it will give you like what you can do pan zoom close and close and that's it so you have to operate with the left mouse button i'm going to start from the left top corner here i'm gonna click once with the left mouse button and hold down the middle mouse button to drag it and then zoom in click once more then zoom again and then click the fourth time so you will see this forms exactly the same key, um, like pattern or whatever is the helper tool there from in photoshop with the vanishing tool and actually it is exactly the same thing but it's kind of better so you can extract this just in a single click and as you can see on the left hand side it renders you the exactly the same texture but just flatten out so it's dead on now I can copy this with just when I click C on my keyboard I can go back on Photoshop, in Photoshop and I'm going to load a new document I'm gonna paste this so I can now safely either reuse the texture or simply I can start working on my clone and stamp simple as that now you have to spend a little bit more time, you have to be careful, of course, there will be some minor di uh, distortion, that's not a problem, you cannot really, none, none of the, us can avoid the distortion, it's just it's impossible, but if you're really clever, you can just avoid everything, so yeah, so I can really pay more attention into this or then go with a different tool for example and equalize all of the colors here and all I have to do now is to click Control C go back to my image and I'll just quickly realign everything back in its place voila and you got it and then the rest is history obviously you can do this for every single flat plane and then it becomes really easy let's say i want to extract the, this element from the rack from the floor click once click second time i'm going to click final time and it's not going to do the best job but still unbelievable actually so it's just it's mind-blowing now I can reuse that texture with a little bit of you know trickery and have it that texture in my virtual stagings for example yeah that's it for today guys if you like this video of course liked it 
or just comment something it helps youtube to spread the word about the channel and don't forget to come back for more